What's going on guys, Coach Aiden here. And today we're gonna to be talking about our brand new program that I've titled the Press Protocol. So just as you've probably guessed, this is very overhead press specific. So if you struggled increasing your overhead press, which I think a lot of people do, probably more so than any other barbell lift, this is gonna be a great program for you and it's why we're using it here at Steel. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go over a brief program outline, how the program's set up, um, how it's gonna work as you work through it and also the exercises that we'll be including in the program. A lot of them are not brand new to you. Most of them are gonna be familiar, but we do have a few new exercises that we're gonna go over in just a second. Firstly, the program outline. So just like the last program, it is 12 weeks long. It's broken up into three blocks. The first block is going to be high volume, low specificity. And what I mean by specificity, at the very end of the program, we are gonna do a testing week to where we're gonna be testing out our overhead press, our deadlift, uh, still on the side on the squat and the bench press. So it's going to be not very specific to maximal loads. So it's going to be lighter weights, higher reps, higher volume in this case. Uh, block two is going to be somewhere in the middle for both volume and specificity. And block three is going to be the lowest volume, but the highest specificity. So the weights are going to be heaviest and we're going to be prepping, gearing up to test out our main lifts. So that's the way that the blocks are set up. As far as the, how the volume is set up here, as you can look at this graph, the greatest amount of volume that we'll be doing for any exercise is four sets of 10. This isn't applicable to all the movements, but some of the accessory work, the secondary movements that are variations of the main lifts will be at the top end, very top end, 40 reps. And then as the program goes on, as you see here, as the weeks progress, that volume is gonna block, drop off to where we'll be leveling off at three reps at the very low end. And this will be when we test on our testing week and we'll have three attempts for a personal best of one rep for working up to an intense single, three intense singles. So three reps will be the bottom end. As far as how we're going to rate each of these, if you've worked through the previous program that we just ran through, RPE is going to be used. And we have other videos on this. You can go and check those out on the channel. Uh, but for those who are familiar, we're gonna be using RPE like we used in the last program, except we're gonna use it slightly differently. For the first block, you'll see that we'll have, for example, four sets of 10 at RPE 7, four sets of 10 at RPE 8, something that's pretty familiar. However, there will get to a point later in the program to where not all of the sets are gonna be rated at the same RPE. So, for example, we might have four sets of eight at seven, eight, nine, and nine. So what that means is that the first set of eight should be at an RPE seven. The second set should be at eight, and then the last two sets should be at RPE nine. So this won't actually change what you do in working up to your working sets. It's just they won't all be rated the same. So that as you work up to those nines, you are to be mindful about your next weight, weight increment. Is this a seven? No, it's a little too light. Okay, that feels like a seven. And then you wanna work up to an eight, and then you work up to your nines for the last two sets. So not totally different, just a slight variation in using RPE. As far as how the actual workouts will be structured, there will be a main movement of some kind. So a strict press, like no variations on the press, a bench press, uh, pause squat. We won't be doing any regular squats for this program. Um, and what am I forgetting? A overhead, yeah, overhead press and a bench press. Um, after that, we'll have some kind of main lift variation. So it could be a pause variation, which we've done this last program. Uh, anything else that might add some variability to the main lifts, and we'll go over some of those in a second. Also, we have accessory movements, except now we're gonna bring back the superset. So we're gonna introduce one movement, and then we'll alternate sets of one exercise with the first set of the next exercise, and so on for however many sets we're doing for that day. So that's just a general outline of the program. Next is the exercises we'll be putting in it. I broke this up into either movements or body part types, depending on how you want to conceptualize it. So we have squat or legs, bench or chest focused, deadlift or back focused, and press or shoulder focused, just general buckets for these. As far as the squat and leg focus, we have pause squats, which I mentioned before, lunges and RDLs. So pretty familiar stuff if you come here to steel uh, at steel pretty often. And then we have bench and chest focus. So obviously we have the regular bench press. We have a close grip bench, which for those of you who worked through the last program towards about week eight or nine, then you've seen the close grip bench press, but 
just about as simple as it sounds. It's just a bench press with a closer grip. And then we have push-ups. And as, you know, in a similar way, if you've been coming here at to steel for any amount of time, you can either do them out of the rack uh, against the barbell, you can do them on the floor or with kettlebells if you're really good at push-ups, but we'll have a push-up variation for uh, developing our bench or our chest muscles. Next, we have deadlift work or back work. Of course, we have a regular deadlift, pause deadlifts, um, these aren't totally brand new. Uh, if you were on the last program, then you know what these are. Deficit deadlifts are new for everybody here. Um, the way that these work is that instead of um, pausing at the deadlift, what you're gonna do is you're gonna stick a plate underneath your feet, and then you're gonna be pulling from a lower point. So you have to travel further down to pick it up and to put it back down uh, at the end of the rep. Rack pulls, we're gonna do the opposite thing. So instead of putting a plate under your feet when you deadlift, you're gonna put it under the plates on the barbell. So it's gonna pick the bar off of the ground a little bit. So the pick point's a little higher. Just a way to introduce some variation. We've seen dumbbell rows before, barbell rows, if you were on the last program, penlay rows, these are new. So it's a barbell row variation, except when you take the bar out of the rack and you start doing your rows, instead of just hovering there for the entirety of the set, you're gonna actually put the bar down on the ground in between reps. So it's a little more explosive. It's a little more specific to the deadlift being higher load. Uh, so you can usually use more weight on the penlet row. L pull-ups, a few of you probably know what these are. These are pull-ups out of the rack with the bar on the hooks and you can adjust the height and where your legs are on the ground to either make it easier or harder. Um, so this will be our back focus or deadlift focus movements. Lastly, and definitely not least, because of the name of the program, we have press and shoulder work. So the main movement that we care about the most is the strip press. There's no leg movement, there's nothing, no variations going on, just a regular overhead press. Then we have a push press. This is also new. So it's like a regular overhead press, except we're going to intentionally use some leg drive. So you're gonna bend the knees and you're gonna use that to drive the bar upward. So as you can see here, we have different types of the push press. For block number one, we'll be using a push press with a one count pause. So what that means is instead of dipping down and going straight up into the overhead press, you're gonna dip down and pause one and then press. Reason for this is so that you can be intentional about using the legs and it's not so random and uncontrolled. And then we'll gradually phase in using the legs to where we have the one count for the first block. Then where you're gonna use 50% of leg drive for the second block. And then the last block is gonna be 100% leg drive, a regular push press uh, without any of those other variations. The pause press, again, if you've been on the last program, you've seen this before, we're gonna be using the same iterations, being at forehead height, nose height, and chin height, lowering the heights per block. So forehead height for block one, nose height for block two, and then chin height for block three. Lateral raises, you're probably familiar with these. Uh, front raises, these are new to where instead of doing a lateral raise like this, we're gonna bring the dumbbells out in front of you like this. This trains what is called the anterior aspect of the shoulder, just this front part of the muscle here. Uh, rear delt flies, uh, these are probably a familiar movement for a lot of people here at Steel, to where you either sitting down on a bench, you're bending over and you're targeting the posterior side of the shoulder back here, uh, just to get all around different target muscles in the shoulder uh, that we're gonna focus on. Lastly, on the press or shoulder movements, we have either a barbell or dumbbell upright row. And these will probably be brand new as well. Uh, it's not quite like a dumbbell row or a barbell row, uh, unadulterated like you would use for deadlift or back training. With these, you're either going to grab a barbell on your hands uh, or dumbbells if the barbell's a little too heavy, and you're just gonna lift the bar up putting most of the emphasis of the bar or the dumbbells traveling upward in the hands. So you lead the movement with the hands and that's pretty much all there is to it, lifting it up to right around the chest or chin height. Okay. Lastly, we have arms. So dumbbell curls are gonna be a, lot, a big part of our arm work. We also have dips, uh, which are new uh, for this program and probably for other programs in the past. Or if you can't do dips either with the hands on the bench and then you dip down using your body weight for resistance. And just like we do with the push-ups, you can adjust your legs and how close or far they are to make it easier or harder. Uh, but if that's too difficult on your shoulders, your elbows for any reason, then we can just easily swap those out for overhead tricep extensions with the dumbbell. And then French press, 
Y'all are really familiar with these, so there's no confusion there. All right, so just a brief recap of everything we've talked about. We talked about the program outline, the way that the weeks are set up, our three blocks. Uh, we have a testing week at the end of the program. This is the way that the volume is gonna work. So it's gonna be higher volume, which is pretty different from the program we just ran, but we're gonna taper down into a more specific, higher load, lower volume uh, week where we're gonna be testing out our main lifts. Uh, we're gonna be using RPE again, slight variations with that. Uh, our workout structure, we covered that. And these are the movements, a mixture of things that are familiar, but also some new variations that are really gonna help us, especially up our overhead press, but also help to maintain or increase our other main lifts as far as the barbell movements are concerned. So that's a brief uh, outline and presentation of our steel press protocol. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.